All right, brothers, in this video, I'm gonna talk about why being too accommodating with your woman is actually gonna make her turned off from you and what you need to do instead in order to keep the attraction going, keep the respect going, and ultimately have a fulfilling and loving relationship. Okay, so there's so many times that guys are just being too accommodating, too nice. There's nothing wrong with being nice and there's nothing wrong with being accommodating and you need to be. You need to be giving, you need to be able to share like your resources and whatnot with the woman that you love. And most guys are fine with that. They want to be able to share. They want to be able to share these resources, you know? Like for my wife, she doesn't have to work. She could work. She has a master's in computer science and she was a project manager for a big company for a number of years. She made more than me before I started this business and I was very happy with that. Why? Because it means that I didn't have to carry her. It means that she could stand on her own two feet. And she asked me in the beginning, she's like, does that intimidate you? I'm like, fuck no, it doesn't intimidate you. Hell yeah, that's exactly what I want. I'm tired of carrying women who don't actually bring a lot to the table financially. If you're trying to date somebody, you're trying to grow a family, you need somebody who's like at the same economic station as you and is at the same growth level as you that you can respect. A lot of guys, you know, they don't have to respect their woman to really sleep with them. They don't have to respect a woman to find her attractive. They don't have to respect her to actually love her. But the other way around, like the woman has to respect you to find you attractive, to sleep with you, to want to marry you. If she doesn't respect you at all, then it's just not going to happen. And so over time, when you're being too accommodating to your woman, in other words, you're giving her way too much, you're offering more than she's asking for all the time. And you're thinking, yeah, I'm going to build all these brownie points. And then she'll just love me forever. She'll see how giving and caring and attentive that I am. But at the same time, what men don't realize is that they're taking away from other things in their life. They're taking away from like the things that they should be building, their purpose and vision. And so what she ends up starting to see is that, that her, you loving on her and accommodating her becomes the most important thing in your life. And from a woman's perspective, you know, you're supposed to be providing the security and structure in the relationship. And so what she needs from you is this strong, stable person who also can provide financial security. Even if she makes more than you, she wants to feel that you could do this, you can provide that. And you might say, well, that's not really fair. You know, women are supposed to be equal to men and all this stuff, and it's like, yeah, that's true. But we've got millions of years of evolution behind this. And so we can try to fight our evolution or we can work with it. And so when you're being too accommodating and you're giving too much, there's this sense of an imbalance. And she will feel like, hey, he's doing too much for me, and I feel like he's trying to gain control of me on some form or fashion. And she'll start to back off from you. She'll say, I don't need all this. Like, I feel like he's getting, he's getting too powerful in this dynamic. And so for you, you have to back that off. You have to show her that you're trustable one way or the other in that regard. Like, these are free gifts and there's nothing, nothing that has to be given back. But you fucking know that if you're giving her all these things, you're going to want some sort of consideration for it. I can't tell you the number of guys, especially the rich dudes that I'm coaching, they'll say, I, you know, I paid for everything, we go places, she's on my jet and all this stuff, and all I want is her to just at least have a conversation with me. And I'm like, well, dude, that's very transactional. And that's one of the reasons why she's afraid to really commit to you, because she's like, well, he's holding this money over me. He's holding this money as a power thing. Or you'll find the opposite type of a woman, and she'll say, oh, yeah? You'll do anything for me? Let me see if I can get him to say no. And then she'll start asking for crazier and crazier, more audacious things, things that you can't really afford, things that you shouldn't be affording or shouldn't be buying, you know, like expensive handbags or vacations or stuff. And she'll tell you, oh, you know, I just, I'm so stressed out with the kids and everything. I just need all this stuff. And it's like, she'll play this victim card and then you'll fall right into it. And then she starts to lose respect for you because then she's just manipulated you because you can't say no to her because you love her so much. If you can't say no to her, she'll start to disrespect you more and more. And then you'll, she'll start, you'll see it. She'll test it first. She won't just come right out and do this. She'll test it first. She'll just give you a jab, like a little side comment. See if it lands. See if she can get away with it. And what you'll find is that the more you tolerate, the more you encourage. And so as you're doing this, as she starts to do this, she'll start testing it more and more and more. And before you know it, five, 10 years down the road, she's just treating you like a total piece of shit and you're doing everything you can to get her attraction back. You're trying everything you can to make her love you again. You're giving her anything she wants and you've gone down into this disrespect cycle. We have to turn that around ASAP because this woman, a woman who's in this place, will hold you in contempt and she will cheat on you and she will leave you, and she will take half of everything you are, and she will tell you you deserve it because she holds guys who 
she disrespects in contempt. In other words, she's feeling on some internal level like, I really just hate this guy because he just won't stand up for himself. So I'm just going to give him whatever. You know what? I deserve it. I deserve it. He hasn't given me what I wanted in my life. He hasn't given me the love and security and all this stuff, even though you've tried everything you can. And really what she's looking for is boundaries, a container with which she can operate in her life. And you haven't given it to her because you have been so accommodating and so nice to her. And I'm not saying that you have to be an asshole. And you say, like, well, women like bad boys. Yeah, but they're usually emotionally unavailable and emotionally immature. They don't really want that, but they have the sexual energy. And the problem is when you're too accommodating and she feels like you're not really respectable, then you, all that sexual energy goes out the window, and now she left starving for it. So, for instance, you're still going to think piss looks really good in a desert. And that's where she's at in this place. I'm not saying it's your fault if she cheats. It's 100% her fault. But at the same time, we do create a garden. And so let's create a garden where the woman really loves and respects and wants to be all over you, touching you all the time and telling you how amazing you are. So if you want to learn more about that, just stay here or maybe look in the description below. Maybe join the Broken to Badass program where we do just that for guys within a couple of weeks. Anyways, if you like this video, subscribe for more and uh, hit the like button so it'll be shared to other people.